As the recession continues to hit New Jersey families hard, the number of eligible children, the number of eligible children for New Jersey family care, which in New Jersey includes Medicaid, continues to increase. And despite the recession, New Jersey is well on its way to meeting our state mandate of the New Jersey Health Reform Act of 2008 to enroll all children in health insurance, either through private or public means. As we all know, dependable health insurance helps kids get checkups and the preventive care they need so they can stay healthy, stay in school, and learn. Without New Jersey family care, 600,000 children would be uninsured. Of that, about over 400,000 of that number are actually enrolled in Medicaid version of New Jersey family care. Covering uninsured children helps our state spend health dollars wisely on preventive care rather than expensive emergency room care. An example is asthma. My office puts out the kids count data and our data shows that be between 2001 and 2006, more children in New Jersey were living with asthma, few were, were hospitalized for the disease. This suggests that a greater number of children may be receiving consistent treatment which reduces hospitalization. There's other data from Kids Count that I'd just like to share with you. The percentage of children without health insurance dropped from 13% in 2006 to 11% in 2008. The number of children enrolled in Medicaid has increased from 377,941 in 2002 when we started tracking the numbers in Medicaid enrollment to 433,695 children in 2009. So we would encourage all our congressional delegates to vote in favor of the expansion of EPMAP um, because it is critical that these children continue to have this health insurance, get the preventive care, stay healthy, and stay in school. We want to recognize the essential special support uh, to more than uh, 1,055,000 seniors who, across New Jersey who receive Social Security and Medicare. That's equivalent to 92% of New Jersey residents over age 65. The average Social Security payment for seniors in New Jersey is about $1,040. It can be as low as $600, so we need to keep that in mind. Um, this only partially covers their living expenses, which can average over $2,100 a month for a single elder senior living in a one-bedroom apartment. We did a study in 2009, and that's where this information comes from. 15% of New Jersey seniors have incomes below $15,000 a year. So you can see there's a big gap between what they have as income and what they need to live their, cover their basic expenses. However, we're celebrating the 40 fifth birthday of Medicare, and New Jersey Foundation for Aging applauds the program for its longevity and celebrates its critical role in providing health care coverage to New Jersey elders. With the nation's health care system in the midst of major reform, there's no better time to emphasize the importance and success of Medicare um, in helping seniors stay healthy and solvent. The New Jersey Elder Index showed that health care is the second highest expense for seniors in good health um, after their housing expenses. So as we look to the future, we must be sure that there's a public benefits program in place that provides a boost and support not only to seniors, but to low-income families so they do not age into poverty due to costly housing and health care expenses.